Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Today we're going to look at how we can write a Microsoft Word document with, uh, from Java with the Apache POI library. I've earlier showed you how to read the, 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 the Microsoft Word document and also I've shown you how to write an Excel, uh, Excel uh, the, the Microsoft Excel file and also how to read from Microsoft Excel. So this is the, now we are at the point where we want to write a new, um, new Microsoft uh, DocX document. This cannot be used for the open document format. It can only be used for, uh, yeah, for the Microsoft uh, for the Microsoft uh, Word format. If you want to use, the, if you want to uh, read and write the open document format, then I'll write. I'll, make, I'll create some other videos about that. But I've created since last time. Then I've created this MS Word Writer service right here. You can see that uh, that Java class right here. The whole project has been created by pressing File, New Project. And then I chose Spring Initializer right there. Spring Initializer, and then I press Next. Then I chose Gradle, because, just because I prefer Gradle. Uh, Maven is also fine. And then I ticked off Lumbug and Spring Web. I, I like to use Lumbug because then I can have um, then I can have all those cool annotations like SL4J or Data if I need that, for instance. Okay, so what do we need to do when we when we want to create a document? Yesterday, or the last time, uh, we actually uh, we we read from this document right here. This is a header one two three four, and then we had a, a title, and we can actually see we are using different styles in the top left uh, corner where it says title. That's actually a style, and when we use that style in our document, then it's actually the style is actually defined and also placed inside the document, and that means that we can actually use these styles later on if we load an existing document. If we load an existing Word document, then we can. Uh, steal the styles from there, and then we don't need to invent uh, styles uh, from, 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 from scratch um, in our Java program. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. You can also see we created, a, 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 we, read, we read the footer and we read the header last time. We also read from a table. So today we would actually like to create these parts of the document instead. Um, not exactly like we saw there, but uh, something, uh, the, 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 something similar. First of all, um, we need to save the document at some point, and uh, I have uh, solved this like this, and um, I have I have used the documentation on um, yeah on, on on the Apache website right here, and there was one one point that actually helped me a lot. That was actually the unit test. You can see at the bottom there's a link to the unit tests. Um, where, uh, yeah, where my face is uh, currently. There's a link called browse the unit test, and that that helped me a lot to create this demo right here. Uh, for instance, if we want to create something, if we want to write something, then we need to create a an instance of the XWPF run. That is actually where we create and write text. That uh, that had me puzzled a bit in the beginning, but uh, after figuring that out, then it worked uh, fine. So, okay, so save document. This is actually the last thing we do. So, uh, but but I'll I'll just go through it. First of all, we uh, we need to create a new file. If the file already exists, then I'm deleting it and I'm I'm creating it again. And then I say uh, doc write, and then I give a new file output stream right here. I don't actually need, I don't know if I need to create a file actually, but uh, we can play around with that later on. Then I give this uh, byte array output stream right here. And then I write the output stream, which is uh, nothing. And then, um, and then I close the, the document again. Actually, I, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think I need those two lines. There was something else I was just playing around with. Sorry about that. But you need to write. You need to write the. the we get the document right here, and when we get it in this method, then it's already filled out with a lot of uh, styles and with a lot of content inside the word uh, inside the word document. And then we, what we need to do is we need to to take the file, delete, and, re and recreate it. And then we need to write the content of this document to the file. And that is exactly what we're doing here. If it gives us any problem, then we will. Um, uh, comment in those lines again. Then we need to close it in the end, so that's the same as a kind of a flush. If you uh, know, uh, if if you know the the streams, um, let me just delete this file because this is the result that we are going to create. Then we have this one right here. Write a small story. We have a part that's called generate a table. We have generate header and footer. We have the generate uh, body paragraphs like this. 
And um, and then we have the, the method where we actually do all of these stuff inside. This is the, the method that keeps everything together. Write a small story. So first of all, I'm going to create a new document right here. So this is my new Word document that I'm creating, a new instance of. And you can see right here, we have actually not chosen what, what should the file name be. We are, we are not choosing that yet. It's the same as if you would open up uh, Microsoft Word. Then you, could, you can just start typing. And then you, when at some point when you press Control S for save, then you, uh, then, you, then you get to choose the file name, right? It's a kind of the same approach right here. Then I'm opening up a template. And this is because I want to steal the styles. And you can actually, you can choose whatever file you want to. You can also create the styles yourself if you want to. But I've just, uh, I've taken the important information, the docx that I, we, we, we played around with the last time where we, where we read data from a Word document. Um, it is important that the styles that you uh, that you want to steal from the template or from the document, uh, that they are actually used somewhere in the document. So the, if you want to use a heading 2, then you need to use a heading 2 somewhere in that document. I just think this is the easiest way. If you have an easier way, then uh, just write it in the, in the comments. Here I create new styles, so I take the document and I say, please create a new styles uh, object from this class called XWPF styles. And look here now, now I'm stealing the, the styles. I steal uh, heading one and heading two from the template. And the template, that's the one I actually defined up here, right? So here I'm stealing the, the, the styles. So new styles add heading one, heading two. And I'm using that when I write the, the body paragraphs. Everything, almost everything in a Word document is actually a paragraph. If you want to add text, then it's called a paragraph. Um, you can also add tables and then you can add headers and footers. That, that's, that's the most common things to, to, to play around with. That's why I've chosen those. So generate header and footer right here. Here I create a new, um, we pass on the document as an argument right there to the method. And here I create the, the header, header type default. Then I look here what, what happens here now. First, I create a paragraph. Inside that paragraph, I create something called a run. You need to create a run in order to write stuff inside the document. And in, when I've created that run, then I set the text to header, tra -la -la -la, one, two, three, four, and then we just add five, six. Then you can see that it's actually, yeah, that it's also, that it's, that will be a type is actually what we end up with in document. Then I create a footer right here, document.create footer, and it's just of the type default. And again, I'm creating a paragraph here. I do it on, on uh, multiple lines instead of doing it on, on uh, in a single line. So here I create a paragraph. Then I create the run, xwpf run. And then on the run, I set the font size to 40. So if I want to format it, then this, you can actually do that on the run also. I can, so here, right now I set the, the font size and then I set the text afterwards. The font, footer, text, blah, 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 blah. So that is the footer. And that is this line right here. So then we have the body parts. Generate body paragraphs. And we have that right here. So I create a new body, document create paragraph, and I just call this P body for paragraph body. And maybe I should only mention, I should only have the P, uh, paragraph body one because we actually have a second part down here. Uh, but the first part is right here. So I create, again, I, cre I create a new run. On the paragraph um, object, I create a run. So then I get this run right here. Then I can set a style on the run. And here I'm using the header, um, the, the style, uh, which is named heading one. I also have a style named heading two, which I get as arguments to this method right here. And remember, we stole them. Um, yeah, we stole them up here. And then we are using the styles uh, in, the, in that line right there. And then they end up being passed to this method right here. And here I can again set the style, heading one, get style ID, set the text. This is he first header. The same with the se second paragraph. When I, whenever we create a new paragraph, then we also get a new line. So it's, it's kind of a new area to write text in. And then we have set style again, and then we have set text also. Let me just check something. Uh, create. There was, um, if, if we want to have some, if we want to have, If if you want to have a new carriage return, then it was something like add. Yeah, look here. If you want a new extra line, then we can add carriage return like that. That's actually just what I want to show. And 
I'm actually creating one extra uh, paragraph down here just to get some more spacing, but I could also have just used add cache return. Let us see now if we get two spacings before we get the table. Because what actually happens here, we're not done yet. After generating some body stuff, then we create it, then we generate a table, and then we save the document in the end. So, but let us try to look at generate table. Here I have my table. It's very easy to generate a table. I create this table right here. And then I just go through each row. I'm, I'm creating a 10 rows to begin with and two columns right here. And then I go through each row and I and I increment my, my integer variable here. This is the row instead of I. I should actually mention it. Row row number instead, like this. And then we add one to row number after we uh, when we are done uh, yeah, yeah, uh, setting the value for the second cell. So cell one, cell zero, cell cell one, and then new um, then the new line right here, and then etc. Uh, etc. etc. Et so I have name and age, and then I have Mike, Susan, and John uh, to figure right there. Yes, and then we yeah, so then we generate the table, and then we save the document, and we already went to, to the save document. But let, let us see if um, I've, I've introduced if I've introduced any errors on the way. Um, I have created a test right here that just runs write a small uh, story. So let us press play and see what actually happens. So here yeah, now we got a uh, generated information dot docx. So we have this document right now. Let us try to open it up and see how it looks. We have a header, tala la one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember that we added the five six uh, on the fly. Then we have one header right here and see the style. It has the heading one style. Look up here, heading one style. We can be very proud of ourselves. And then the second line right here, it has the heading. It has a second heading style, so heading two style. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then we have the table name, age. Of course, we could have, we should have maybe have chosen bold in the beginning right here. Then we have Mike 42 and then Susan and John 31 right here. Then in the bottom, here we have the footer text, and that was font 40. That's why it looks so crazy right now. Font 40 right there. So that's actually it. So we now we have created the, um, the Microsoft Word document with Java with the Apache POI library. Thank you very much for watching, and don't be shy. Just write questions as usual in the comments, and I'll see when I have time to, um, to answer them. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. And I will, as, as usual, I will also push the code to my GitHub account so you can actually get it there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.